And in the batter's box, it's Oliva. He'll get things started. Fifth inning. And the first pitch. Ball Wood up. too far outside. That's a ball. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base. So they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. That one swung on and missed. Miguel Olivo not making contact evens up the count. The one thing we know is he's not going to take a borderline pitch at 1-1. He likes to swing the bat. So I'm not giving him anything too fine and see if I can't get him to hit into an easy out. There's a swing and a ball hit well. Straight away, center field. On it comes off the wall. Olivo going towards third. There's the throw. They apply the tag. He is out at third. It's Ryan at the plate. Good odds here. Six ABs, two hits, lifetime against the Angels. And the first pitch. Good pitch from Wood. Swung out and missed. Missed badly with that curve there, one and one. He delivers. Swung on and hit. Hunter to field it. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Here's a look at teams getting it done on our league leaderboard. The staffs that have the lowest ERA. Number one, the Angels. Second, the Rays. In third, the Yankees. The A's fourth. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Now, when you lead the league in ERA, it takes a lot of pressure off the offense to score runs. Their pitchers have really gotten it done so far this year and allowed the offense to take some relaxed at-bats. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. Drilled towards third. And that's through a base hit. Well, this pitcher was cruising along in this inning and not a lot of difficulty so far. Loses concentration for just one second and now a runner in scoring position. He's got to work. Robinson into the batter's box. 0 for 1 thus far. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Wood gets set and delivers. Oh, Put something off and it swung on and missed. 0-1. Well, if he threw a fastball right there, he might send a souvenir to the crowd. Problem was he got the change up and didn't connect. The 0 one delivery curve swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Last ball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. The one two on its way. Fastball ball that's well off the plate. Two and two. Well he struggles against the curveball. Two strikes. So don't be surprised if that's what he sees in this situation. This one line towards the hole. And it finds its way through into left a base hit. There's the throw, and the run gets in. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. Run scored, another runner on base. And Ichiro stands in, two down. Steve, this lineup, wow, have they been able to create some opportunities? They are executing. They've got a tie. I came oh. up big in that critical situation, Gary. Good at bat right there. Now he's tied it up. And Mathis calls for the pitch. Ball two. And Wood can't get him to swing, and it's low. Just checking my contract, Steve. It says here I'm obligated to say this is a brand new ball game. Since when do you follow what you're contractually obligated to say? And Ichiro grounds it, and he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. 
Fantastic chance here. Now State Farm brings you the league leaders in stolen bases. There's Ichiro. He's fifth on the list. Well, most hitters in baseball will tell you that they're better fastball hitters than anything else. And when you get a guy in base like this guy who can steal bases, one of the league leaders, the guys hitting behind him are going to get a lot of fastballs to hit because the catch... Here's a swing and a line drive. And that'll do it as Ibar puts it away. They pick up four hits in the inning, but manage only one run. We are tied up here in L.A. Mathis at the plate. Last time up, triple homer run. Foul! That one goes foul. And here's the delivery. Line drive. Into right field, a base hit. And it's going to bring Peter Burgos to the plate. Late season baseball. Here's what the Mariners have coming up. They wrap up this Los Angeles series tonight. They'll look to tip the balance against a team that looks pretty good, pretty even against them on paper. The Kansas City Royals. That series is four games. Then they stay home for the next series, the New York Yankees. Lots of home games. That's always a good thing. He snares it. Oh, gets one at second. Back to first. Not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Diaspo at the plate. And in this lineup for Mike Sosha, a key role played by this guy. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. Last season, a 262 number against the Mariners. Keeps it down that time, 0 and 2. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Here's the pitch. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. That's the second out of the inning. Two outs in the box. Bobby Abreu. He's the team's most walked batter. First pitch to Abreu. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. And that should be a single. I uh, so patience at the plate. That, that patience can rub off on the rest of the lineup. We've seen that with his team there. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. And he did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. Hunter fouls that one away. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses. One and two. They went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Corey Hunter is swinging a miss, and that's strike three. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Mariners won. The Angels won.